Hello, welcome to this section in AC circuit analysis. We'll solve this Thevenin equivalent problem. This is a really good uh, intermediate level problem, requires to write some equations and really think about it, but at the end of the day, it's not that complicated to solve, so it's a good middle of the road problem. Uh, here, we're trying to find the Thevenin equivalent between terminals A and B, but this one's a little trickier because we have a current source here and we also have a dependent voltage source. So the voltage that appears between these two terminals here right, is given by four times the current that flows in this branch through the inductor, four times I beta. And we have an inductor of J2 ohms here. So you have to break up all these problems into a strategy. If you just stare at it forever, you're never going to get anywhere. So you have to think about what do I need to do to solve Thevenin equivalent problems. First step, I need to find the open circuit voltage here. That's going to give me the Thevenin equivalent voltage. And then to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance, there's different techniques. We'll talk about them a little later and try to figure out which one makes sense. But for now, let's try to figure out what this open circuit voltage is here so that we can figure out what the Thevenin equivalent voltage is. Now, there's a lot of ways to try to proceed. I'm not going to pretend to have you know, all of the answers or the only right way to do things. But whenever I see a current source in parallel with an impedance or resistance, I immediately think source transformation, and so should, should you. If you see a current source in parallel with an impedance with nothing here across the top, then you can immediately at least consider transforming it uh, into a voltage source with a, the, the same uh, resistor here up on the top in series. Uh, same way, when you see a voltage source with a impedance across the top in, pair, in series, you should start thinking about, maybe I should source transform it. It doesn't mean you always do it, it just means it's an option. In this case, if I do it, I'll have a voltage source here, and then this one ohm resistor will be up here, which will then form a loop with this right here, which looks a little simpler than what I have. Because don't forget, these terminals are open. I'm trying to find the open circuit voltage. There is no current flowing through this branch because this is completely open here. So. If you cover this up, if this comes up here and this becomes a voltage source, then this becomes a lot simpler. So I'm going to approach it that way. Now to find this um, source transformation voltage, um, I could say voltage of the source is going to be equal to I times Z. And this current source is 5 amps at an angle of 0 degrees. That's the current. And the impedance here that's in parallel with it is just simply 1. It's not even imaginary. It's literally just 1. So basically what you have for this source transformed voltage is the same thing. Multiplied by 1, it's 5 at an angle of 0 degrees. And this is the voltage, so we'll put that in terms of volts. So if I'm going to redraw the circuit, then what I'm going to have in is this current source is going to change into a voltage source. The value of this voltage source is going to be 5 at an angle of 0 degrees. And then this impedance here is just going to come up in series with it, and it's going to live up here as 1 ohm. The rest of the circuit remains exactly the same. So I have this guy here, this inductance, uh, stays the same. And this inductance is J2. I beta is still the current that flows in this leg. And then you also have this dependent voltage source here, negative, positive. Polarity is very important. Four times whatever current is flowing in this guy, I beta. And then this is still terminal B, and this is still terminal A. And I'm trying to find the Thevenin equivalent there. Now, one thing I want to make sure you be aware of, when you do source transformations in circuits, especially ones that have dependent sources like this, see, this voltage source is completely dependent on the current flowing in this leg. So you don't want to screw up that leg. Like, in other words, I don't want to, you know, if I had a bunch of stuff in parallel, I wouldn't want to collapse them all to simplify it because I need to es essentially preserve whatever current is in this leg because when I write my equations, it's going to determine what this voltage is. 